It's looking like DJ Mustard feels Drake sabotaged his project. So you might say, what are you talking about? Hey, look, Mustard say Drake out here pulling strings to make sure niggas don't succeed. <laughs> so let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mustard believes Drake and Gordo conspired to ruin his album release. Mustard explained his theory to academics. Mustard was a key figure in the beef between Jake, I said Jake, Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Overall, this was due to the fact he was the producer of Not Like Us, which has proven to be one of the biggest songs in the world this year. Moreover, the producer appeared in the song's music video and was even at the pop out. All of these moves are antagonistic and we're sure Drake, and we're sure Drake didn't take too kindly to all of them. Now, however, the famous DJ believes Drake might be out for revenge. When it was revealed that Mustard was going to sell 18K units first week for Faith of a Mustard Seed, Drake fans were quick to celebrate. Many felt like this was a flop for Mustard, that he should be ashamed. Subsequently, the producer went online and said the first week sales were a tool of white supremacy. I've never heard that take before. He also said that Drake is the Malcolm X of white people, which is a pretty hilarious diss when you think about it. In his most recent stream, DJ Academics revealed that the producer believes Drake and Gordo attempted to sabotage him. Mustard told Academics he believes that Drake told Gordo to drop his album the same day as his on purpose because of the Kendrick beef. That nigga Drake is doing shit behind the scenes, fucking with people. That's why I know what Yachty is saying is cap. Essentially, Mustard allegedly believes that Drake told Gordo to drop his album on the same day as him. Drake had two features on the Gordo album in it. And in Mustard's view, Drake knew this would take some shine away from his project. However, as academics point out, points out, Gordo so less than... Um, I guess that's Mustard's project. What was the name of it again? Uh, Faith of a Mustard Seed. Having said that, it is hard to see how Gordo project may have affected his sales. Either way, it is clear that the Drake and Kendra beef continues to go deeper and deeper. Let us know what you think about this theory from the producer in the comments below. All right, I feel like... I feel like niggas, at this point, y'all gotta let this shit go. Cause, he, cause now y'all, yeah. now niggas just gonna be blaming Drake cause they flopped. Or cause they didn't uh, do the numbers that they felt they should've did. Now niggas just gonna be blaming Drake. Ah, bro, this shit, man, this shit messy. This shit's gonna get even more messy. Cause now y'all literally, anytime anything go wrong, oh, this nigga Drake, this nigga Drake working behind the scenes, making sure niggas fail. Which, it could be true. Drake could just be that. They have said Drake is petty. Like I always say, I don't know these niggas personally, so I can't speak on it. But I have heard that, you know, Drake could be a petty nigga. So, Drake could just be behind the scenes like, oh, I'm finna make sure all you niggas is in shambles. You feel? Could be. Could be. That could be true. That could be a thing. Um, But, I don't know, though. I don't feel like niggas should be leaning on that, though. Like, oh, I didn't do... Good. Oh, it's because of Drake. Drake told him to drop. Drake got features on there. People went over there and listened to that instead of listening to me. And it's like, bro, I'm going to keep it a buck. If J. Cole, Kendrick, and Drake all dropped on the same day, I'm talking, I'm speaking for myself. I'm going to listen to all of them, nigga. So I don't think that someone dropping on the same day as you would like affect your numbers really like you you was gonna do the numbers you was gonna do regardless in my opinion right like it's not like somebody gotta pick who they gonna listen to that day like that day and they can only listen to one person i can literally listen to your album and then go listen to the, the next person's album like i don't have to pick one so i don't I don't know, bro. I just feel like that's a little cop-out right there. You feel me? Like, oh, Drake sabotaging. Like, 
I don't know, bro. Just maybe you, just, maybe your marketing just wasn't on point like it should have been. Maybe people didn't know the album was coming out. I didn't know the album was coming out. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I didn't know Mustard was dropping the album. I think I, uh, I didn't know Mustard was dropping the album until the album was out. My homie was like, yo, you heard Mustard new album? No, I haven't. I still haven't to this day. I heard the song with him and Tra the uh, Travis joint, the parking lot joint, which I think that beat is hard as hell, but I feel like the song is mid. Uh, but that's just my opinion. But, um, yeah, man, well, I don't know. Comment down below. Tell me what you think, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for the vibes, man. Until next time, Buzzy gone. Yeah.